Rin Liu, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Agilent Technologies, supporting signal generation solutions for the wireless connectivity markets. The popularity of location-based services and applications for mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets have resulted in more devices being designed with GPS receivers and other wireless technologies such as cellular and wireless LAN, all integrated into one device. The functionality of the navigation receiver in these devices needs to be verified by testing them with signals that simulate the navigation satellites. Russia also has a similar system called GLONASS that is now operational. The testing required for both GPS and GLONASS receivers is similar, but different satellite simulations are used. In this video, I'm going to show you Agilent's newest solution for generating GPS and GLONASS satellites to help you test your navigation chipsets, modules, or devices. This solution uses Agilent's N7609B Signal Studio for Global Navigation Satellite Systems, or GNSS, software running on a PC with the new X-Series Signal Generator. Our demo device is a GNSS receiver evaluation kit from NVS Technologies. The receiver sends data to the monitoring software on the PC through a USB connection. Now we're looking at the Signal Studio application for GNSS. Here, we can use predefined scenario files that come with the software application or build custom GNSS scenarios using the scenario generator function. In this example, we have selected a scenario file simulating someone driving along a circular path. This particular scenario includes 11 GPS and 6 GLONASS satellites. With Signal Studio and the X-Series signal generators, we can create up to 32 total channels of line-of-sight satellite signals and multipath. Let's look at the software for our demo GNSS receiver. From a cold start reset, we can see the GPS and GLONASS satellites come into view as the receiver locks onto the signals. We can also see the simulated motion of the receiver as the scenario continues to play. In our Signal Studio software, we can either play back a saved scenario file for simulations up to 24 hours in duration or use continuous scenario generation with the scenario data being created in real time. In both modes, the satellite signals are generated in real time and we have the ability to change satellite visibility and power or add multipath or pseudo range errors while the signal is being generated. For example, here on the satellite settings page, we can turn off GPS Satellite 3 and reduce the power of Satellite 6 by 10 dB. We can see the results in the GNSS receiver software. Now, let's add a multipath to Satellite G7. We can configure the delay, power, and Doppler shift. We can then turn off the line of sight channel for G7. On the GNSS receiver software, we can see the power variation in the multipath signal. As we've shown you in this video, Agilent has a solution for simulating both GPS and GLONASS signals simultaneously using the N7609B Signal Studio for GNSS software with the new X-Series signal generator. These new instruments also have the flexibility to create the other wireless signals needed to test multi-format devices such as smartphones and tablets. For more information, please visit our website.